Oh, I'm going to take the next step into my uh, astronomy hobby. I'm going to try and take photos. As, as, as it's called photo photography. So here I got the two components to allow me to connect my uh, DSLR, which is a Canon T6 right here, onto my telescope and supposedly take pictures. This is a... The, t the method I'm going to be using is called Prime Focus. There's another method that uses these two things in your eyepiece too. But I need an extra, but I need a specific type of tube for that. And I didn't order it because I want to try to go for prime focus first. So basically what happens, this little guy screws into here. I pop the, I pop the current lens off here. And then I, uh, let's see, where is that little hole? I line this up with the red dot on here slide like that and it's locked and now I'm going to go out into the kitchen and see if I can actually get this thing to properly focus and whatnot alright so this is more or less what I see I'm trying to get it to where that little to where the where you can actually somewhat see what I'm looking at so I'm going to use this to uh, try and get my uh, DSLR to focus properly all right, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta remove the 90 degree eyepiece. And then the next thing I do is I take the DSLR and I just slap it in like this. All right, so how am I gonna do this? Oh, that's gonna be fun. I can't take picture. I can't take video without the uh, lens on. That sucks. Okay, give me a second to. Uh, I got to uh, t loosen up the uh, bolt on the uh, tripod here. Totally forgot to do that. It's been a while since I actually connected a DSLR to my or anything to my to this thing, so I forgot to uh, tighten this up. There we go. Now I'm gonna move. And now I got to pop the night read back in here and realign everything. So um and what the heck I'll record myself doing this. Oh forgot now I gotta use these crummy handles that this thing came with. I really wish this thing came with the uh, metal uh, handles and not these crummy plastic ones. And unfortunately, I have looked around and I haven't been able to uh, find a way to order the actual real nice ones. Alright, let's see. Oh, I blew right of way off, okay. Oh, and you really can't see what I'm doing, so let me do this. Well, granted, you really can't see what I'm doing even with me doing that, so let's see. I'll remove my glasses. Nope. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, make sure the camera's properly aligned. All right. So initially, when I was doing, when I was a, uh, oh wow, that's way off. So let me do this. Like I said, I'm not a professional YouTuber by any stretch of the imagination, so yeah. So when I was initially doing all this, uh, or looking into getting my, uh, the attachments for my DSLR, I initially thought I had to get a prime focus adapter because I didn't know what I needed exactly. But it turns out this little piece right here is the actual prime focus adapter. So that's why it took me so long to actually get all the other components because I had no idea exactly what I need. Alright, so what I so what I gotta do now is I gotta see if I can properly focus the camera in because as you can tell, it is you can actually somewhat see what I'm looking at, but it's not exactly focused. So the problem is, is I gotta figure out how, what exactly I need to do to 
properly autofocus. Hot freaking damn, I can't do prime focus. Someone, someone was saying that might, that might not work with my particular scope. But I can do prime focus just fine. That is the, uh... <clears throat> That there is the uh, what I have this what I had this go focus on to. The one thing I've had to do now is that I had to extend the focuser quite a bit farther than I normally do. Normally it's about out to normally it's about right around here with the, with the ninety degree eyepiece and the twenty millimeter uh, lens or the twenty with the actual eyepiece. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I had to extend it quite a bit, but that is prime focus. So hopefully tonight it will actually be clear enough for me to actually go out and actually take some pictures. I'm going to try and take a picture of the winter down you or how you pronounce it again. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But if it's clear outside, I'm going to try and take a picture of it now since I actually have a DSLR that is fully capable of actually connecting to my scope. And currently right now it's kind of breaking up so hopefully it'll be nice and clear by the time I, by the time nighttime comes around. Of course granted I usually have to wait till around 10 p.m. for for optimal viewing of it. So uh, yeah. So um, yeah, I can finally do. Uh, I can finally take pictures with my with my scope, and I actually now have all the other parts I need if I actually get myself a better scope, like a like a uh, like a Newton or whatever you call it. Or uh, I don't think I'm gonna get a Newton because they kind of have a well. I know what I'm going to get, I just don't know what's called, or how to properly pronounce it. I know what it's called, but I don't know how to actually say the word, so... Basically, the next telescope the next telescope I'm planning on getting is a deep space. This one's more for, uh, for planets and what, planets in the moon. So if I want to do deep space pictures, it's really not going to be, I really won't be able to do that. I mean, I can, but it'll be better if I actually have a deep space scope that's these, that has like a big eight that has a big like that has a big eight inch uh, eight inch mirror or whatever. So uh, yeah, and this video's already gone on long enough. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna go and mess with this thing now. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get as focused in as I can to this thing, and I'll uh, take a picture of this. That way, and I'll put it at the very end of this video. It'll probably be like maybe for like 10 seconds or something, just so you can get a good idea of what this DSLR and what this scope is capable of doing.